What up, what up, Wimbush here. And it's wild how these budget mics, like you're seeing right here, it rivals the sound of these pricey professional mics that I've used on my channel in the past. Now, if you've been following any of my channels, whether it's this tech channel or my tutorial channel, you know that I've been using the Shure SM7B microphone, which back when I bought it, it sent me back about $400. But not only that, I had to spend another $8 on this extender, $100 on this preamp, and $100 for the audio interface. So that's $608 in total to get my professional mic set up, which is crazy once I look back at it. But today we're going to check out something that I think is game changing, and that's the Fine Fine AM8. But let's see how this budget friendly mic stacks up to my professional setup. Now, before we jump into specs, let's actually do a sound comparison because I'm sure that's what everybody wants to hear right off the top. So we're going to be doing a sound test with the AM8, and then I'm going to be using my shore mic for the other sound test. And you let me know which one you think sounds better or if they actually sound about the same. What up, what up? Wimbush here. And this is a microphone sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up directly to the computer using the USB cable. I'm about two inches away inside of this sound check. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up directly to the computer using the USB cable. And this time I'm about six inches away from the microphone. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is the audio test using the Shure SM7B microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a microphone sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up directly to the computer using the USB cable. I'm about two inches away inside of this sound check. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is the audio test using the Shure SM7B microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up directly to the computer using the USB cable. And this time I'm about six inches away from the microphone. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is the audio test using the Shure SM7B microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. I'm about two inches away from the microphone here. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. I'm about six inches away from the microphone here. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. I'm about two inches away from the microphone here. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is the audio test using the Shure SM7B microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is a sound check using the Fine Fine AM8 microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. I'm about six inches away from the microphone here. What up, what up, Wimbush here. And this is the audio test using the Shure SM7B microphone hooked up with the XLR cable. Now let's take a look at what comes inside the package when you get the microphone. So of course, you're gonna get the microphone as you see right here, the AM8. And not only do you get the microphone, but you also get this bass stand that comes along with it as well. Now the bass stand is a little bit short, so it might be tough to use unless you get an extender for it, or as they suggest, maybe getting a boom arm like you can see me using right here so that you can get the microphone at the length that you need it. Now the suggested length for the microphone from your mouth is gonna be about two to eight inches I would say and this is a dynamic mic so you want to speak directly into the front of it as you see me doing right here you don't want to speak off onto the sides again this is a dynamic mic so speak directly right into it now for people that like to do streaming you might notice that it has the RGB lights going on to the back of it now you can actually touch the button right here to go through all the different color settings so you can have solid colors or if you hold the button down you can turn it completely off if that's something that you're not into and then we have multiple options to be able to hook this up to any interface that you want. So as you see me using right here, I have it hooked up directly to the USB to my computer. That's how I'm able to use the RGB lights on it. But if you wanted to put it up to like your audio interface, if you have more of a professional setup, it has an XLR dock right here. So you can hook up an XLR cable directly into your audio interface and then move on from there. 
Now, if you wanted to hear the audio feedback that you might be getting, you could hook your headphones directly right into the back of it so that you can see exactly how crisp and clean your audio is going to be. And then on the front of it, we have some knobs here as well. So the one knob, you can actually control the headphone settings if it's too loud or if it's too low. And then the other one is going to be for your gain on the microphone. So you have a couple of options there if you want to really dial in your audio to make it nice and crisp. Now, if I pull off the top right here, you can see underneath the spit guard, this is what the microphone looks like, but it comes with the guard on top of it. So it's going to be easy to clean. I don't suggest putting it into like a washing machine or anything of that nature, but if you've been using that for a while, it's always nice to keep your stuff clean because you are spitting onto your microphone. So it's nice that you can easily pull that off and then clean it and then put it right back on. And the thing that I really like about this microphone that is just plug and play, right? So you have the USB cable, you can plug it directly into your laptop or computer, and you don't have to install any type of third party programs at all, which is always nice. It just recognizes the microphone and you could just be on your way. So all in all, if this is going to be your first microphone, I would say this is definitely something that you could look into. It's a great budget mic. And if you listen to the audio test, I actually personally think it does rival my professional setup there. So if I had to do it all again, I would definitely go with something along these lines. So once again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I catch you in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.